Lots of that. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do that all this season. We've been working on it for a couple of weeks. You know, not sure who we're going to apply. We're practicing with it with two people on the bottom for Bangor and two people on the top for uh, for Deering. And uh, you know, after watching what Oscar did and Daryl in the last game, you know, we were really we didn't want two guys to beat us. And, you know, we have three or four defensive players who are really, really good on the ball. So we had to put them in that. And, you know, our, the guys in the triangle, that was the best they played. We, we weren't communicating really well um, leading up to this. But tonight, we challenged them a little bit. And they talked a lot in the triangle about where they were, who had the ball, who had the red. Did a really good job of that. Yeah. Uh, when you made up, yeah. I made Austin on uh, Oscar. I mean, yeah. He didn't have a basket the whole game. That's crazy. His points were really yeah. Fun. But I mean, him, him, he's, he's one of the best players in the state. He scored four points. Yeah. You know, and same thing, we wanted to keep the ball in his hands. Uh, because, you know, kind of like James Harden, when he's coming up and get a full head of steam, he can do so much with the ball. Yeah. And, and we can't stop him. Uh, so we wanted to try to keep it out of his hands in full court for Austin to do that for a whole game. Um, it was just an incredible defensive effort by him. And then we were able to bring Jermaine and Storm in and give them little breaks here and there. We said, don't take it personal when we do that. But we just were asking too much of you as it is. Um, and they just did a really good job. And then on the backside, you know, we stepped up on dribble penetration by Daryl and Oscar and helped without giving up easy baskets on the bottom. So uh, it, was, it was one of our, at, one, at, after one of our, no, I don't say worse, but after a not subpar defensive performance in our last game, you know, tonight we stepped up and played a lot better with the team. Uh, offensively, they were clearly obviously trying to stop Shane, stop the guys in the game. Yeah. Uh, York comes out, hits a couple big threes early. RJ again, huge big, big shots from you. Yeah. Austin seemingly a little more uh, involved in terms of taking shots. Definitely, yeah. Not anything we didn't expect from them defensively. No, no, no. We were expecting, you know, kind of like what they did against Bangor, to do the same thing against us. And, and, and that's one thing that we said was by using our paint a lot, that will open up other things. And with ball movement and player movement, uh, we were able to get open looks and, and make good things happen. But if we don't have a post presence, then none of that happens. You know, we're much easier to guard without that. It, it did seem like your your looks, as you said, were good ones. Yeah. You, you know, bang, right, one, so I shot 50% from yeah. three. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you have your best shooters shoot most of your shots, then that's a good thing. And RJ Nichols is definitely one of our best shooters. And I'd go so far as to say one of the best shooters in the state. Um, um, Austin Brown's one of the best shooters, definitely on our team. And a lot of, you know, you saw tonight, once he gets into a rhythm, he gets things going. The opportunities. He's just so unselfish, and all season long, he hasn't had to. Right. He's done what we've wanted, what was given to us, which was the pain. So now uh, he stepped up and took what was given to us this time. And these guys are priority, yes, yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, just if you could expound a little more on Austin's effort because he did it. Oh, it was amazing. You know, the whole Oscar was four points and guarded him full court. You know, we said we wanted to keep the ball out of his hands. No. From from the opposite baseline, you know, so to ask him to do that against a player like Oscar for a whole game, you know, and we told him we'd sub him out or, or sub him off, but we really didn't do an awful lot. He got him, I'd say, probably 28 out of 32 minutes, you know, and did a really good job. He's a great player. Oscar was a great, great player. Uh, and Austin Brown stepped up because that's what we needed. Didn't question it, didn't ask, and you know, all he wants to do is win. And that's all that whole group is one. He Randy played together. Randy was reminding me that of, of this year's group, Austin was the one who actually played a significant role in 2018. Yeah, correct. That, that's correct. correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Storm Did played he start, some. Or he started. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And Storm played some, but Austin was definitely uh, a, a much more significant in terms of minutes per game player. What does it mean for you to get back? Didn't do it last year. You had your health scare. Is, is this a little sweet for you? It's definitely sweet. Yeah. And, and, and you know, we said before the game, it's a really special group. You know, because th that group has been together since they were in second and third grade. They're sick of me talking about it, but I brought it up again in pregame today. You know, 
that whole group, when we run our summer program for five weeks, for four days out of the week, they're there every morning since third grade, you know? And, uh, and, and they play travel ball together, and they play middle school ball together, and they just, it's, it's unique uh, in, in any team sport to that, to see a group enjoy each other's success for our success. You know, if you watch watch college basketball, pro basketball, it's so individualistic, and, um, and they don't care. You know, they, they were giving the ball to a sophomore all year old, scoring 20 or 30 points a game, and they just kept giving it to him, because we were winning. They didn't care. Uh, and that's all they care about, so it's a neat group. The depth that you have this year separates, I think, this team from others. It's one of the distinct things about this team. I mean, you've had in the past just more willing to use it. I mean, you, you did the offense-defense subs today, kind of in hybrid drive, but you've yeah. been doing that for much of Yeah, thank God for Coach Gibson and <laughs> Coach Cody and, and Coach Maines and Coach Larry, you know, because they really get that going. Like, so, so much so the last minute and a half, the kids knew. They didn't even wait because they know. And, and they, again, to get kids today to buy into a role, to get a Jermaine Louisa to say, listen, you're just going to play defense a lot. Yeah, I mean, you'll get some offensive reps and possessions, but primarily you're a defensive player. I mean, where's the glory in that? Where's the fun in that? But he does it because, again, he wants to win. He wants our team to win. And, um, yeah, they've, they've done a great job of buying into um, what they can do for our team. Yeah. They want to get to do it another week. Yeah. They're going to face a really good team next Saturday. Yeah. What do you need to do to get a second goal ball in three years? <laughs> We're going to have to play the best that we've played all season. We lost to Thornton earlier this year by double digits. Uh, we haven't played South Portland, but we watched them last week. Or Wednesday, I guess. Uh, they're long, they're athletic. Uh, Kevin's a great coach. Uh, Baez is a freak rebound. I've never seen anybody rebound as aggressively as he does. Um, we're going to do what we do at the time. We're going to prepare for whoever.